welcome to Come and See, your podcast for finding truth in a world of chaos. Brought to you by All for Jesus Living Waters Ministry. With host and founder, Richard Case, and co-host and retreat leader, Kathy Riccone. Join us every weekday at this time to discuss news, spend time in the Word, and receive answers to your personal questions about living life in God's truth. And now your host, Richard Case. Well, hello, Kathy. Uh, how are you doing this morning? Uh, good this, morning. Good to see you. Good to see you this week. Uh, we're having a really uh, interesting discussion. Uh, yeah, as we, we could have talked forever yesterday on yeah, this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll probably keep going. Uh, we've been talking about God's will uh, in general. We've been you know, doing a series on that. Um, and then uh, a couple things have come up, and that is that uh, the, the, taking the vaccine, whether or not uh, yes or no, uh, per se, that's people are asking. And then secondly is, what am I going to do with the consequences of that if I decide not to? Mm-hmm. Um, and then how do I help others who are seeking the same thing uh, right. and, and answer to God's will, if if, they're, if God truly can get us his will? Um, and then we have, uh, on top of that, a uh, discussion about a new church startup um, uh, what about, and you know, my old church doesn't happy with me. Um, how do we approach that? What do we do with that? <clears throat> and uh, fundamentally, uh, what we've been trying to help people understand is, uh, well, it doesn't surprise God. Right. Uh, yep, they're super complicated. Uh, there's no universal answer. Uh, so that... Um, Christians tend to want a universal answer. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, all Christians should take the vaccine. All Christians shouldn't take the vaccine. Uh, right. Uh, we should, and let's we, be clear here for a second. There are things within the Bible that are universal answers. Yes. These There are situations, these sticky wickets, as you say, um, that they're not so clear. They become more personal, and it's a seeking God for his wisdom in your specific instance. Yeah, yeah. But like, we're, uh, we're definitely not saying that there are not universal. <laughs> absolutely. Things. And yeah, and so. uh, uh, that's why Logos is always the place to start. Uh, what yeah. does it say? Because a lot of times uh, there is universal answers. Like, for example, um, uh, it says, be angry and don't sin. Right. Well, that's universal. Yes. Um, we got to understand what that looks like and we got to apply it mm-hmm. to our situation. But it's not, yeah, you can be angry and you can carry it to uh, sin and that's okay. Right. <laughs> that's not okay. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, what, is that, what does that mean? Uh, how do you process that? Uh, also, um, it would be um, while you're praying. Mm hmm. And I remind you, God speaking, that you have unforgiveness in your heart. Stop yes. praying. And you got to go get that resolved uh, with me. Right. Um, and when we get it resolved, then you can go back to your life. Um, and again, that's a universal. That is in there clear as light. It's, you know? it's universal. So it's not like, well, yeah, but I'm going to seek God's will because, you know, my situation is is really awful, terrible. They've hurt me. They deserve it. Mm-hmm. I can't forgive them. And God knows that. And so isn't mm-hmm. that his will? And God says, no, it's not. Uh, it's not my will. I've spoken mm-hmm. universally about that. Right. Uh, so as we sort this out, that's the first place we look. Is, is God mm-hmm. said something about this that a lot of times are, yep, this is true. Absolutely. Now I got to learn how, how to experience that. Uh, but at least I see it um, right. like, like the vaccine at the moment. Well, you can't point to a scripture and say you should or shouldn't. Uh, there's just there's just truth that we're trying to get to. How do we approach it mm-hmm. so that within the f- approach that we're starting to learn? Now we go to God and he'll guide us and lead us into his answer for us right. that we can be assured of, which is what we're going to try to help you do. And by the way, the cool thing is God has the answer. <laughs> yes. Um, 
that's the cool thing in my mind is like, well, man, this is sticky. This is, uh, this is complicated. Um, uh, you know, God, will you show me the answer? He said, yeah, walk with me. Right. And all these difficult scenarios, you know, I walk. I think last time we 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 ended it with uh, it's kind of telling the story about this church that we had started. In oh Boulder. yes, yes. Um, and um, we even had the the church that I was part of, and 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 had blessed them, and they had blessed me. Um, say we we're not going to sanction, bless you, encourage you in any way what you're doing. And even though I asked for it, I said. You know, I, I believe God is calling us to this. We're not trying to mm -hmm. uh, come against you in any way. It's just something new. Uh, we actually could cooperate together. <clears throat> nope. Uh, we come against you and um, we're going to, you know, we're going to sanction you. Okay. Um, because of uh, Matthew 1034. Mm -hmm. Well, Father, what do you say? No, I'm calling you to this. Right, let and your the, responsibility is to him first let, and foremost. Let the conflict be, mm -hmm. um, and you don't need to, you know, we'll process it through, and you can release it. And they still may have people angry at you, but you just move on and focus on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did, uh, and it grew and grew and grew, and I've got some, you know, someday um, I probably should have a whole session on uh, miraculous stuff that God, <laughs> that God did, but... Mm -hmm. um, we just had miracle after miracle, and it got to be about 250 people um, in the planetarium at the University of Colorado, which was a whole, oh no way, a whole amazing story. But our first Sunday there, by the way, was um, uh, Easter Sunday, and we promoted it as sunrise service at 10 in the morning <laughs> because we could make the sun come up. Um, that's awesome <laughs> uh, and people came and, and it was night we had night the stars mm -hmm. and then the sun came up and we worshiped we had so easter sunrise service at 10 that's in the morning awesome. you know, it was really fun anyway it was a fantastic place and uh got to be about 250 two, 250 people um and it was uh, a tremendous uh work because linda and i were still uh, i was still doing my business mm -hmm. and she's you know and she's doing a lot of the work at church and uh so it became a point where we had to go uh, full time uh, or leave. So I said, okay, Father, what would you have us do now? Uh, and similar to what happened with Scott and Kristen that they mm -hmm. described last week is, yeah, you're done, thanks. Um, I'm gonna have right. other, other people do this. Um, uh, I have other things for you to do. So, okay. And so we go, went and found a full time guy, uh, helped him for about a year, and then God said, "Okay, it's time for you to let it be His church and go move on." Uh, so He took it over, and He grew it uh, to about oh, I don't know, like five, six thousand people. Wow! Um, and then He left, and another per person came on. And today, uh, it's we started it in um, uh, the 1990s, mid 1990s. Uh, today. Uh, the church is 25,000 people. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's the largest church in Colorado. Um, wow. And some really wonderful stories about property that we actually got when we first started. And they they built their facilities mm -hmm. on it. And um, so that what God had offered that church mm -hmm. is you could have been that. Um, mm. Because of their refusal... God said, okay, I'll do it a different way. And that's why I had to follow God because, see, God's purpose was bigger even than that church. Right. Um, right. He says, I'm not serving you. You're serving me. Mm -hmm. uh, and my purpose is something bigger than that. And I already know where I'm headed with it. Uh, and so since they weren't willing to receive it, because uh, as far as I was concerned, I had no in intention of starting a church. Right. Um, wasn't even on my mind, you know. But when, right. when God, but God spoke it. But when God spoke it, put it together, and called us to it, at that moment, it was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now, by the way, when, when you, and this is true whenever you start a church, you don't, we, we, we would have never imagined where, where it went. It was just, if we're just a body, we thought if we were just a body of, a hundred people, mm -hmm. we would be thrilled. 
because uh, the focus was never on bigness. Mm -hmm. It was on transformation. Right. Are you enjoying life? Are you walking with God? Are you experiencing God? And it didn't matter to us that, well, you got to get bigger to prove it out. It's no, we just got to walk with God. Mm -hmm. That's it. And so if it would have been small, by the way, we would have felt as rejoicing as we ever did. Right. Because it's our call uh, to our body. And that's and that's so the, the as we're talking about church bodies right now, if you're faced with this issue. Uh, well, let's go to God. And don't make too big out of it. Don't take too much out of it. Well, of course, we got to God, blah, blah, blah. No. Are we called to be a body of Christ? And, mm -hmm. and whatever that looks like. Uh, enjoy it relax with it, let him take it where he wants to take it. Uh, and again, there's no universal that if I'm starting a body, it's going to become a big body, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be a small body. Uh, so the focus is, first of all, on, on what God has to say. Uh, and as we've discussed in Matthew 22, uh, render unto Caesar what Caesar's, render unto God what's God, is that generally speaking, you, you follow the authority you're under, um, and don't per se fight against it. Mm -hmm. um, if I call you, God speaking, to something different, new, no, you can't surrender to that authority because I am uh, giving you a different path. Mm -hmm. And my path supersedes all authorities' paths. So right. I, can, I can say something to you that contradicts them. And and no, don't just don't just surrender to them because they say so. What do I say? Right. And if whatever I say, I'm telling you, follow me, including let and that part of that, let that be a conflict. Yeah, go ahead. Part of that surrender you and I have talked about has to come from a place of a pure heart, too. Um, you and Linda were not disgruntled people within the church just trying to get your own way. You were listening to God prompting something that was actually stirring change. And, and we saw, we see that in the new Testament all the time that things, you know, there are splits that occurred that in doing that multiplication happened Yeah, and that and had, more people reached the, are reached for the gospel. And so that when you shared yesterday about, you know, you going to the church leadership with honor and respect and you continuing, even after you left and started the church with honor and respect, that is Christ's body. So you're not going to dishonor them. No, no. you're, you you absolutely are handling them the way Jesus would, and then continuing to follow God. And so out of a pure heart, not out of a bashing a church or bashing leadership or anything like that. And so there is some, some heart checks to make sure, um, in the process as well. Yes. And the, uh, uh, and you talked about it, uh, you know, uh, last week actually when about uh, you're checking God's check in your heart is that mm -hmm. um, when you truly are free walking with God, um, see, it, it's not a matter of, okay, I'll fight through it mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll overcome it and I'll just uh, make sure that I don't. No, right. God, God says, no, I care about your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I was, Linda and I were going through it, even with their opposition, no, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to. Even when they said, we're not going to, and I asked them, I said, would you bless us? Right. No, we're, we won't do it. Well, that can make you mad. Right. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Well, then, you know, uh, but the truth is, because we were walking in the freedom of Christ, literally, there wasn't even a thought of hardness against them. It's like, right. I feel sad for you. I feel sorry for you because I think you're missing something that could be right. wonderful for you. But okay, um, yeah. I'm not responsible for your uh, free will. Mm -hmm. If that's your decision, um, knowing that generally speaking, I would, I would come under your authority. But in this case, God said, don't. You need to go after a, right. new, a new thing because I'm your authority. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, he said, go focus on that and don't carry with you, you know, judgment. And then as you, as what happened with you last week is that, yeah, you got a little bit of a heart issue. Um, and okay, father, what is it? Let me, let me heal that. You didn't say, okay, I'll make sure I do it this way. Um, I still got the heart issue. 
Mm-hmm. But I'm going to go uh, try to be better at this. And right. God says, no, right. no, no, <laughs> let me let me heal your heart. Mm hmm. So it really gets transformed so that right. if somebody like right now, and, and we know this, people with the uh, new churches, new church bodies, they are struggling with, I'm mad at, I'm mad at that authority, that church that isn't, isn't mm -hmm. supporting us, is coming against us, is trying to prevent us from doing this. And I'm, I'm, I'm upset about that, and I'd, I'd like to come against them. Um, I have, I, my anger is going to sin. And Mm -hmm. uh, God said, okay, let's stop a second. Uh, let's get, let's get your heart right. Mm -hmm. Not that you haven't heard me correctly, but in order to go to where I'm taking you, I got to get your heart right now. Right. Now that process, pure foundation. Get that right. And the, and, and we'll see here, uh, uh, actually in this next verse, we'll see kind of where it goes. So uh, go to uh, Romans 14. Uh, read verses 1 through 13. A little bit lengthy, but it's uh, worthy of reading because it has a lot of truth for us. Uh, Romans 14, 1 to 13. All right. Um, <clears throat> As for the one who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. One person believes he may eat anything, while the weak person eats only vegetables. Let not the one who eats despise the one who abstains, and let not the one who abstains pass judgment on the one who eats, for God has welcomed him. Who are you to pass judgment on the servant of another? It is before his own master that he stands or falls, and he will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make him stand. One person esteems one day as better than another, while another esteems all days alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. The one who observes the day observes it, observes it in honor of the Lord. The one who eats, eats in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks to God, while the one who abstains, abstains in honor of the Lord and gives thanks to God. For none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we all stand, we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. Okay. Uh, so uh, lots of issues there. And uh, it's really speaking to... Um, the what I call the things that aren't absolute in Scripture. Hmm. Uh, so he's saying, okay, you as a body, in essence, he's saying, look, you're going to have different perspectives on this. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to have different understanding, and my will for them may be different than my will for you. Right. Um, he said, so understand that. Just per se, it's in other words, <laughs> since I'm you know, God speaking, I'm describing it. Accept that as okay, mm -hmm. per se. I mean, just I'm yeah. I, I'm describing it to you that look, you're not all going to see everything the same right. way because it's not universal. There are universals which we've talked right. about, but, but there are situations that are not. There are situations that they're not. He said, okay, so mm -hmm. uh, what do you do with that? Okay, well, verse 5 is kind of the critical thing. It says, get convinced in your own heart. Mm. First, so this is the first line of attack. Um, right. I have to be convinced in my own heart what is God's will, what is true for me. Right. He said, it, this is just between you and me. Get it, get convinced. And the word there mm -hmm. is be completely settled of what my will is for you and know that you know that you know and you've got that settled. And, and as we've talked about, you haven't even thought about the consequences. Right. You haven't even manipulated, well, yeah, what about, how come, what if this, what about that? 
He just says, why don't you ask me? What is my pure instruction? My pure instruction. Yeah. I'll give you my will, and mm-hmm. uh, and we'll talk again about um, how that works. Um, but get it settled mm-hmm. for you. So like the vaccine. Well, don't don't worry about the consequences. Don't worry about what other Christians say or don't say. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't worry about even the uh, because of the science of it. Right now, there's scientific facts on both sides of it. Right. There's there's some reasons to yeah. By the way, it it facilitates you not having the diseases as severe and maybe preventing it. Uh, other times, hey, it's it's consequential. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's going to harm you, and uh, it's experimental. Uh, no, I'm not asking you to take it. Uh, well, there's there's information all over the place, mm-hmm. so you can go in a sense. You can uh, and go back to the James one. You can be a double-minded man and stable in yes. all your ways. Well, yeah, I could do. Well, maybe not, uh, uh, you know, and you're back and forth, back and forth. And that's because you're focusing on the consequences rather than the will of God. Yeah, or other people's yes. opinions or right, or scientific right. information. And uh, I had uh, in our discussion, I've had this discussion. People have made uh, statements about supposed data that supports their position. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, I don't, I don't debate them, follow them. All I say is this. They say, well, this is, this is a fact. And this is what they say. Mm-hmm. This is a fact. I said, I would just like to say something that your fact isn't so. Mm. You've repeated what the, what the uh, news have said. Right. But uh, if you look into it deeper, you're going to find out that what you just said isn't so. I said, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, um, just for you to pursue, keep pursuing the truth, so that you can you can assist people in the process, but don't take something that isn't truth, mm-hmm. for, report it as truth, and why you should do what I want you to do. Right. Uh, go get convinced in your own mind. So the first line of attack, and this is true of people starting the church, um, uh, Lend and I were, we were persuaded, convinced. Yep. I see it. I got it. I got your will. Mm -hmm. Uh, Understand it. Um, I have that settled because, see, that sets the the forward movement. Right. And that is because I have it settled. I'm not wishy washy. Well, maybe I should. Maybe Mm -hmm. I shouldn't. If they oppose me, I guess I shouldn't. Um, I go back to the logic. Yeah, and the fear and the anxiety are completely removed yeah. when you have that settled. Right, you know. right. Um, so that uh, we urge everybody uh, on the uh, like the vaccine or sticky other sticky things or like the church, um, their first place will go process that with God and get mm-hmm. it settled. I understand. I have it clear, I, and I'm with you. And I'm good with it. I feel good about Mm it. Uh, Now there's lots of things coming down the path that we have to deal with because of that. But nope, I got it settled. Uh, Okay, so let's say the vaccine. uh, And that's why believers uh, can, interesting enough, get it settled on opposite sides. Mm -hmm. People can hear, it's good to take the vaccine. You're good. You're good. Take it. Other people mm-hmm. can hear, nope, I don't want you to take the vaccine. Don't take it. Right. Well, you get it settled. Um, and, and you haven't looked at what anybody else has done. You've mm-hmm. just looked at it for you without a necessity to make sure all of us around are doing the same thing. No, no, that's not true. Right. Uh, what, what has God said to you? Uh, okay, then he says, with that, uh, this is now the heart issue. Uh, don't go, don't go to judgment. Mm-hmm. Uh, just because somebody else has concluded something differently, that they've settled something differently. Right. Don't you? And this have is a heart? something we're seeing. We're seeing all over in the church right now. That's a, a big source of division. Is everyone trying to make everyone else believe their case? Right. One way or another. You That's know. That's right. Um, so, and that, by the way, that judgment is, is, is pure at all levels. So that mm. um, 
people that are starting churches, yeah, they're likely to have their former church or former leadership uh, come against you. We, we don't want you to do that. You're a threat to us. We don't want you doing mm-hmm. that. We want you to stay with us. Do with, you know, don't, don't do that. Um, when, I, when I had that church in Boulder and they, they wouldn't bless us, mm-hmm. um, they kind of came against us. Uh, mm-hmm. And they tried to disparage us. Uh, so my, but my judgment wasn't that I'm not going to lay my judgment on you and I'm going to work hard at that. It's that even when I'm being opposed, mm-hmm. I still didn't have any judgment. He says, you don't, have right. the, you don't have the right to do that. He said, I'll, I'll take care of it. Mm-hmm. Um, you just follow your path uh, and you offer the opportunity, hey, you know, um, so that if you're leaving your church, um, uh, it's probably healthy that mm-hmm. you go, like I, we did, we went and told them. Right. This, is, this is what we're called to do. We want you to understand it. Um, we don't come against you. We, we pray that you'd be with us. Uh, this is kingdom work. Uh, we're going to expand the kingdom. Um, I hope you see it that way. Um, and by the way, if you're a part of a church who is really seeking God and all of that too, that can be a great source of wisdom. When you go have that conversation with them, they can help you to process, you know, if they, if they're truly having a heart and listening to the Holy spirit, you know, they may really send you out with lots of support and be all about, you know, okay, yeah, I can confirm that God is doing this, or they could be listening to the Holy spirit and give you some things to check and make sure you've thought about. And, you know, so there can also be a, a very positive experience on that side, depending on if the church is, is truly, seeking God and listening to the Holy Spirit, because we see God do this all the time. And there are churches that actually have a heart, their, their heart is multiplication yeah. and to equip people to go out. Right. Um, so he says, um, don't go to judgment. Uh, don't live in judgment. Um, and uh, let that be a purity. Cause that, see that what that does is that frees you up mm-hmm. to just pursue what he has to, has to lead yes. you to. And really without a lot of regard to uh, people's Mm -hmm. self-centeredness, the enemy trying to thwart God's will, uh, the opposition, uh, the lack of support, Mm -hmm. none of that in a sense matters because I'm not responsible, I'm not burdened by their choices. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm going to follow my choice. If there's conflict, okay, I would love to sit down and process it through. Uh, uh, let me see if we can come to a, a positive uh, situation. Uh, do you want to do that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Great. If not, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I'm going to move on uh, to my calling in my freedom because I'm not I'm not responsible for your choices. I'm going to invite you, even if you're in a, an authority position. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, here's here's how I'm going to process. So, like for example, um, I'm sure <laughs> the uh, some of the people in New York City are really mad. Mm. This is well, this, yeah. this is uh, uh, this is coming against my freedom. Uh, you don't mm-hmm. have the you don't have the scientific evidence to to do this universally. Right. Everything you're doing is wrong. It's 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 awful. It's terrible. And my life is. <laughs> It's being affected. It's about to impact my life. And yeah. I'm and I'm mad. Um, and I'm coming against you, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, God says, yeah, before you do that, uh, let me get to your heart. Let me mm-hmm. release the judgment in your heart. I'll show you what to do, which, by the way, could be. Uh, I want you to form a group and go, go to the mayor and present a different alternative. Uh, right. I want you, you know what? It's not going to change. Mm-hmm. It's going to get worse here. Um, I'm actually leading you to go move. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a different place where you don't have to live this way. Um, or I'm going to show you a different way to live. Right. Um, There's all kinds of creative things that he could reveal. Yeah. And see, the key, the key is in order for God to speak that to you, you, <laughs> you have to be free of judgment. Mm. Because uh, my focus isn't on, oh, yeah, I'm going to. It's, I'll show you. I'll mm-hmm. show you. Come and follow me. Stay in peace. 
don't let judgment uh, impact because somebody else is opposing you or doing something different. Uh, so he said, that the, so the first line of attack is get it um, settled in your own heart mm-hmm. uh, and don't, don't respond with any judgment, including, and, re, and remember my instruction to you may be opposite of the authority that you were under or are under. Mm-hmm. He said that that can happen. So right. don't don't take universally that I never ask you to do something that your authority has right. asked you to do. Lots right. of times I'm going to because I'm a yeah. superior and God's authority. God's authority trumps it. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Now let's go to the next one, uh, and this is Psalm 34, uh, eight to fourteen. Psalm 34, eight to fourteen. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in Him. Oh, fear the Lord, you His saints, for those who fear Him have no lack. The, the young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Yeah. So um, uh, he says, uh, yeah, you know, walk with me. Come with me. I'm going mm-hmm. to provide you. Uh, the word "good" there is the best, excellent, superb, over the top, mm-hmm. fantastic. Um, I'm going to deliver that to you. Mm-hmm. Now he doesn't say if all circumstances of life are working together. He said mm-hmm. he's he's assuming here. Yeah, you're going to have opposition. Right. Uh, he calls the word evil. Uh, the word mm-hmm. evil there is things that irritate, frustrate, uh, annoy, uh, come against you, try to thwart my will, mm-hmm. and you're experiencing it. He says, so I'm not going to remove you from that world, but I'm going to deliver the good in that world. Right. So he says a couple things. Um, don't speak evil. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what it means is don't keep talking about, look at what they're doing, look at what they're doing, look at what Mm. they're doing. Oh my gosh, how awful, how awful, how awful. You're speaking the annoyance. Right. And all you're doing is saying, it's it's wrong, it's bad, it's awful, how come? They got to stop it. I wish they would stop it. This is awful. Uh, My life is awful. God said, you got to stop speaking that. He doesn't say to ignore it. Mm Mm-hmm. He says, I understand. Uh, Matter of fact, he says this. He says, avoid it. Hate Mm -hmm. it. Um, Okay, well, what it means is this. Okay, this this new thing that I'm experiencing, Mm -hmm. this church leadership that isn't supporting what what we see God at work doing, um, this whole thing about the vaccine and the consequences of the vaccine and the control of the vaccine. And the, by the way, it, it may not even be about the vaccine. Maybe they're just trying to set up even to control us more. Um, mm-hmm. Well, that's annoying. Uh, even people that take the vaccine say, I don't like it, that they're making everybody only come to this restaurant that has a vaccine, even though I've taken the vaccine. I don't even right. like that. I don't even like that. Right. I think that's wrong. That mm-hmm. bothers me. How, how dare they? You know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, God says, well, uh, avoid it, hate it. And what you say is this. It's true. It's real. But I don't have to put up with this. Mm. Why? Because he said, pursue the good. Pursue shalom. The word shalom is great mm-hmm. favor of God. Uh, why? I'm going to deliver to you the good. Mm. Um he said, yeah, I know it's annoying. Um, I know I know this, this evil stuff happens in the world, and it's not pleasant. Uh, I bet when Daniel got that news, we're killing everybody that is part of this group, this, this quote, mm-hmm. these young wise men, wise people. I bet that annoyed Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait a second. Um, that, that's not right. That's not fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I don't need to put up with that. Uh, Father, what would you say about this? 
And I go tell him that I'll interpret the dream for him. Well, yeah, but he's, he's not going to tell me the dream. I'll tell you the dream. So you want me to go tell him that, and you're going to provide that. Because I, I know that this is wrong. Something's not right here. Right. Yep. Do it this way. Okay. Uh, I trust you. Uh, mm -hmm. By the way, this is interesting. When did God get, when did David, uh, Daniel get the uh, uh, interpretation? After he went to Nebuchadnezzar and said, give me two days. I, mm. will, I will tell you the, the dream that you are wanting us to tell you what it was and the interpretation. Which, don't you love the faith he demonstrated there and yeah. the fact that God told him he would tell him and he yeah. believed him. Yeah. And enough to step out in confidence and bring that to Nebuchadnezzar. Right. Uh, because he, it was, he had to be obedient mm -hmm. to the I will, now you go. Uh, I will, and, and it all started with, with Daniel saying, oh, wait a second, I'm not going to accept that, mm -hmm. that that's the consequence. I'm part of this group and that's it. I got to live with this negative, awful thing. God, what do you got to say? Wait a minute. This is not right. What do you got to say? And this is what Psalm 34 is all about. Right. Draw a line in the sand. Mm -hmm. Eh, wait a second. I don't need to put up with this. Uh, what do you got to say about that? Okay, now walk with me into my answer. And what do you do? It says pursue good mm -hmm. and and go uh, and, and follow shalom. Mm -hmm. Uh which means what? Um, well, God has the answer. Go mm -hmm. after it. Go after it. Go pursue it. Right. Okay, now what? Now what do you want to say about it? Um, how do I understand this? Uh, because I pursue it. Uh, okay, go to First Peter uh, 3, 8 and, 8 and 9. Uh, it tells us something really cool about that. <clears throat> Finally, all of you have unity in mind, sympathy, brotherly love, and a tender heart and a humble mind. Do not repay evil for evil or reveling for reveling, but on the contrary, bless for those, for to this you were called, that you may obtain a blessing. Yeah. Uh, so he says, um, okay, so as, as far as it's concerning you, uh, stay in peace. Mm -hmm. uh, go with honor and respect. Don't repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling. And the word there is insulting. There is insulting mm -hmm. us, attacking us, coming against us. I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you follow me uh, and let me guide you into my answer mm -hmm. uh, and, and trust it step by step by step as you are pursuing and, and going after Shalom without the burden of trying to persuade somebody else. Right. Uh, because that's not your burden, you know, that's mine, and follow, and follow me. So that um, as we look at, the, like, the vaccine, one, get it settled. Mm -hmm. What for me, Father, what would you have me do? Right. Uh, what do you got to say about this? Okay, let me guide you, in, and, and you ask, seek, and knock, and you get an answer. But you stay with that piece of it until you got resolved. Here's my right. answer to you. Uh, what do we do about this church? Uh, we're at a place where we could we could kind of go this way. We could fold it. We could go back into the old old system. Mm -hmm. uh, those people uh, aren't supporting us. I'm kind of mad about that. Uh, uh, they're not following God's will. Um, uh, isn't that awful? Uh, and God says, "Well, <laughs> first of all, get it settled. What I'm telling you, right? Like Linda and I." When, Nope, I'm telling you, yes, I want you to, to be part of this startup of this new church. Mm -hmm. Settle, done deal, never, never look back. Right. Um, okay, got it. Uh, decisions about the vaccine all over the place. Uh, people say, certain people say yes, yeah, certain people say no. Um, interesting enough, I've, I've facilitated both parties, both, both sides mm -hmm. of it. Um, but I, you get it settled. Okay, got that settled. Uh, now what? Uh-oh. <clears throat> I got some consequences. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm in New York City and I've decided not to take the vaccine, man, my life's completely changed. Right. And by the way, that may spread around the country. And, and I, can, right. I can foresee, by the way, there's a, there's a, uh, a uh, 
uh, a uh, law that was submitted uh, to the Congress mm -hmm. that you can't fly anywhere without mm -hmm. a passport, without a vaccine passport. So if you, it's not even if you're tested. It's like right. if you don't have it, you're done. You can't. This you're, isn't passed yet, but it's on the table. It's on the table. Right. Um, yeah. It's a, a proposed law. Um, well, if that happens, like for, for me and Linda. It's going to be a lot of road tripping for you guys. <laughs> we, uh, uh, you know, we uh, travel just to enjoy travel, mm -hmm. uh, to see family. And then, by the way, we, we, we do to lead retreats. Mm-hmm. Uh, going to New Hampshire, I'm going on an airplane, I'm not driving. Yeah. So, uh, okay, well, Father, that's awful. Uh, that's terrible. Uh, that shuts me down. That's it's coming against your ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't be. It can't be. You got to change it. You got to change it. You know, fix it, fix it, fix it. Uh, well, son, uh, that's the law. Uh, okay. Right. Um, I, I, it doesn't impact my decision. Right. And in fact, if you believe, you'll go back to Psalms 34, where it says, um, uh, where is that in, in verse, um, verse 10, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Right. If you believe his word is true, then yes, there can be consequences, but that consequence does not supersede his promise that you will lack no good thing when you're following him. So there will be something else that he delivers that will ultimately be better than what you were doing. He That's will right. provide that good thing. That's right. Uh, so that uh, the question, see, is now that I have settled it, there's a negative consequence to that. The next question, what, what do you have to say now? Mm -hmm. uh, so that he can say, well, um, your travel is going to have to be by car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, by the way, London, I can enjoy that. Uh, right. That could be fun. Um, it could be that. No drive 140 miles per hour. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Linda would say, uh, uh, no, uh, you're not driving 140 miles an hour, which, which by the way, I would like to do. So, um, if I could, I would, uh, so, um, well, uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to do retreats very far away anymore, uh, but you got leaders doing it. Uh, get on the mm -hmm. Zoom with them. Hey, we've done, been doing videos. we got online courses now. I'd like you to spend more time doing that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, there's a different way to deliver that, um, which I, again, kind of like what Scott and Christian said uh, this week in their guest spot was, last week in their guest spot, is God told them ahead of time, Right. Heads up, you know, and, and for us, we were instructed three years ago, mm -hmm. start doing videos uh, of your courses. Right. Of your, and how of, timely has this been? It's like, <laughs> why? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm asking you to. Mm -hmm. I know more than you. I know what's coming up. Just be faithful right. to the, okay, all right. And that take that mm -hmm. takes effort. That takes time. It took money. Um, God provided it all. Yes. And now here, three years later, it's like, oh, now I see what this. you're doing. <laughs> uh, by the way, um, this happened before and may happen again. But during COVID, mm -hmm. when nobody could meet at all, right? You couldn't get together uh, in groups more than five or six, and they really recommended you didn't, didn't even do that. Well, we had online courses mm -hmm. that people could do, in including being led by Zoom. And people, uh, we, we grew a lot in our course uh, work because people said, well, hey, we can still do this. Right. Uh, and they did. And it may come again because if they lock things down or, or cause uh, a a fellowship to be limited, well, we mm -hmm. have online courses and all started three years ago when we had no clue mm -hmm. other than God said, get ready, do this, uh, be prepared. So, um Okay, well, you can't, you're not going to get on an airplane, so you're going to have to drive. You're not going to drive as, you're not going to fly around as much. Uh, get on Zoom. Uh, let, let me show you this way. Uh, make your broadcast. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, improve those and get those going. Um, okay. He says, my purposes won't be thwarted because right. they told Daniel, um, 
you're gonna, I'm gonna kill you or you can't be part mm-hmm. of this group if you don't perform. God says, I have a different way to do this. Mm-hmm. Um, with the consequences, okay, what would you have me do? Including, he could say, uh, well, you need to move to a different geography uh, or uh, you need to be in a different spot because your city or your state is gonna clamp down, but there'll be other ones that will be freer. Um, I'll lead you. Now you don't respond it like that and say, okay, well then that's it. Right. I'm leaving. Uh, that's it. I'm out. Nope. Relax. Mm-hmm. Under, uh, yep. You don't need to put up with it, but ask me what you just stated. Right. <laughs> let, let me provide the good. Yeah. Uh, and in, in, that is again, that invitation to intimacy as yes. we continue to process that with him, the process, the truth with him and his answers. That's right. That's a place that we get to know him better. Yes. Um, and, uh, and so then you will get answers and even supernatural stuff that will happen that mm-hmm. God, you know, will say, well, let, here, let me do this to show you, you know, what I, what I want to do for you. Cause I, I right. don't, I don't want you to live in a place of annoyance, frustration, irritation, mm-hmm. and coming against you or thwarting my will, I'm going to lead you to how I can still deliver to you the covenant, the, the blessed mm-hmm. to be a blessing. I can still deliver to you uh, the abundant life that I promise because the circumstances don't matter to me. Right. Um, yeah, they're tricky, different. You're going to experience something that you've never had to experience before, but let, mm-hmm. me, let me guide you there. Let me show you there. Okay, so... Um, get settled. Don't think about consequences. Mm-hmm. Once you settle it, okay, now what are the consequences? All right, now what do you, how do you want me to maneuver right. uh, through that? Right. What are you going to do about that? Okay, now the third one is uh, people around you are asking the same questions. Yes. Uh, what do we do? How do I do this? How do I manage this? Um, if you're starting a church, you got people in the church that are saying, I think we should go. I think we shouldn't. I think we should go. I think we shouldn't. Um, you got a bunch of of, of, of thoughts. Mm-hmm. What's all right? First of all, what is he saying to you? Right. Okay, I got to settle. No, we're supposed to. We're supposed to keep going with this church. Okay. You got people around you that you're going to assist in in going that same way. What do you do? Well, ask them to do the same thing. Right. Do you have a heart to seek God's will? Uh, okay, great. Go get it settled. Decide where you stand for you. Mm-hmm. And then, um, by the way, as, I, as I'm starting, and this is, this is true of the new body that we started, uh, there were people even from the class that we had that mm-hmm. said, yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna do that. I think I'm gonna stay at this church. See, great. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. I said, let me, let me support you in that. Let me, right. let me bless you in that because uh, I have nothing against the church. Mm-hmm. And by the way, I have nothing against you that have got a different will for you. Right. You've been called to stay there. See, I don't look at it as, well, you should, you should, you should. It's right. just, if you have that settled in your heart, hallelujah, Mm-hmm. Um, you should go there. Now, by the way, it doesn't prevent me from doing what I'm doing. Right. Um, and, and because there's a conflict there, supposedly, um, there's a disagreement. That's a problem for me. That's fine. You, mm-hmm. you go follow God's, God's path for you. You stay at that church, no problem. We're still going on. And if you want to come, fantastic. If you don't, yeah. fantastic. Right. Uh, because okay, I'm, not, I'm is, not trying though. to persuade something. Go ahead. Yeah, there there is a part of human nature that really flies in the face of what you're talking about, though, that I think we have to be so aware of in these kind of situations. Um, And that is our tendency to want, once we have even decided, even if we've heard it clearly from God, and we know, then we want everyone else to share and affirm our opinion. Yes. Or, or what God told us. And so in doing that, we often set out to then convince everyone around us in order to affirm ourself even that what we heard was true. And so there's this thing that, that we get into sometimes that does then rather than taking people to God's feet and saying, okay, this is how you process it with God and find out what's true for you. 
we try to convince them of what we think we heard and that they must hear it too. And that makes us feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so that's why you got to go back to the beginning. And that is mm -hmm. that, do I truly have it settled in my right. heart that I know that I know that I know that's right. God's will? Because if right. I do. Based on God's approval, not man's approval. Yeah. And if I have it yes. settled and see the word settling is you got it. Yes. If I have it, see, I don't have any need to justify right. it. You know, I said, let your yes be yes and your right. no be no. I don't have to justify it. Or to judge others. Yeah. Not to judge others. And mm -hmm. I don't need to um, persuade somebody else Yes. Uh, to I join agree. us. So um, we'll pick this up again tomorrow because um, we want to talk about a little bit about uh, how you assist others in the process, continue that. But also, um, we'll talk a few things about uh, the process of getting it settled. Uh, the, God, God, God. God's given us some wonderful uh, tools mm -hmm. uh, to get that settled so that we know that we know that we know. Right. And there's such freedom in that place. And there's a freedom in that. And it's a beautiful place to be. And even uh, if you, I don't know if you listened last week to Scott and uh, Kristen's uh, uh, podcast of their sharing, they talk about the struggle mm -hmm. of, eh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And the wonderful thing about God is to say, just, he said, just stay with me. Right. And through unity and other things, I will get you there if you have a heart to go. And mm -hmm. that's why everything we're talking about is heart, heart stuff. So yes. we'll yes. pick it up. We'll pick it up again uh, tomorrow. Uh, great so, conversation. Uh, Super interesting. Yeah. Have a great uh, day, everybody. If you got questions, send them in. Uh, AFJ, uh, questions at AFJministry.com or on the podcast of YouTube. And uh, Kathy, uh, uh, we're really having fun with this. So uh, I know uh, it's such a joy uh, to get to do this. We'll, con we'll continue tomorrow. Sounds great. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for joining us. All right, see ya. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Come and See, your podcast for truth in a world of chaos. Brought to you by All for Jesus Living Waters Ministry. Send us your questions and comments and tune in tomorrow for more answers to your personal questions about living life in God's truth. Remember, God's will is best and none better. His truth brings peace in this world of chaos.